Hello, this is me, Shegungile, and welcome to another exciting episode with Shegungile Uncensored. Today, I'm going to be doing something totally different, and different, I mean different. You know, lots of times, so many people, they forget about God, forgetting He is the author and finisher of our faiths. They tend to believe in their pastors, everything, anything, they run to their pastors, you know. And so many of them, I mean, Today, they have found out that really, at the end of the day, it's really not worth it. Anyway, I don't want to talk too much. I'm going to play a short clip. I want us to please be attentive. Some of you must have heard this, while some have not heard. But at the end of the day, it's the moral behind the clip and all the other things we'll be talking about that we need to concentrate on. So please listen, because this is very juicy. How are you going to help me? What you should come and do, you should try and meet me in my office and then we suck out that spirit of rejection mm? from your breast and or from your heart. Praise the living God. Okay, you say that we remove the the what? The spirit of the rejection spirit from of my rejection breast. Rejection from your heart. From your heart. From my heart. Yes. Okay, so when is prayer day? Prayer day is every Thursday at four PM at the Tabernacle Altar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, do I need to carry anything or uh, what? Don't carry anything. Mm. Just come the way you are and with a little bit of offering because, you know, the dwelling place of the Lord is always being, is always be, 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 being made to be full there. Mm. Uh, as okay, I, as, uh, but um, the friend who gave me your number uh -huh. told me that when I'm coming for these prayers, I should not put on my bra. Of course, yes, that's why the church is called people like you who have the spirit of rejection. You're going to suck off those uh, those those problems. Huh? How are you sucking it? Are you using my breast to suck off the, uh, the, the rejection? The church name speaks more about it. Eh? Okay, the church name speaks about it. That's Breast and Honey Harvest New Fellowship International. Eh? Yeah. So I want to get one. What? What? Why should I come without my bra? so that we can suck off the spirit of rejection and you know the spirit of rejection dwells more so in the breast so who is Imagine. sucking who is sucking my breast here oh the pastor does everything you come for anyway um it's it's a very very long audio and um i believe we're going to put it at the bottom you know you're going to find it somewhere in um at the description bottom you know so you can listen to it anyway <clears throat> We listen to this conversation and I'm sure lots of you, those of you that go around seeing pastors and everything, you will have gotten an idea of what's going to happen. Uh, I don't even know where to pick up this from. You know, the pastor is going to be the one to suck the breasts, you know, to suck the spirit of rejection from the breast. Did you hear the way he was excited when she said she wanted to come and everything? He was excited. He wants to suck out the spirit of rejection from her breast. Oh, my God. Would you say this is fornication or adultery? Because I don't understand. Now, so many times, so many people, so many pastors, they go through this. And he's not just the only one. There are lots of pastors that use the word of God as a cover-up to do all sorts of things, which is wrong. For instance, there was a video that went viral sometime last year where this pastor, people that were looking for husband, the same women looking for husband though, told them to line up at the beach with their knees on the floor, actually line up with their knees on the floor and their hands on the floor, and he was smelling their buttocks. Actually, he was smelling their yash. This is uncensored, yes, yash. <laughs> he was smelling the air, sniffing it. I mean, for, for, I, mean I, I don't even just get that part. Why would you go to a pastor? About 20, 30 women l on the beach, naked, stuck naked, nothing, actually in their birthday suits. You know, because you are looking for a husband or because you want to bear a child. Why do you have to run to a pastor to do that for you? Isn't that humiliating enough? Now tell me, how are you going to look at your other fellow women? Because I'm sure it did not just stop at that. Other things must have transpired. Most of these pastors, they do use hypnotism. And that's what I have, you know, come 
to um that's my conclusion they do hypnotize people and that is when you start to look for what you are not supposed to look for like the story of the pastor in some african country that told hypnotizes um, congregation and told them to go and eat grass eat grass for what are they goats and even before they even went out there to eat grass, probably maybe it was planned or something. If you look at the video, some of them were already acting like goats. You know, before they ran out there to eat the grass. You know, all these things, you don't have any business. Go to God one-on-one. -on -one, kneel down in your house and pray to God. It's a battle between you and God. Give him something and he's going to do something for you. That's what you, do. That's what you need to do. You know, and you see, at the end of the day, all, all these things when it's happening when things are happening when things are falling is not falling in the right places you tend to wonder where did you go wrong where did you go wrong it's because of all these things it's as good as going to a herbalist because when you jump from pillar to post i mean you don't even know what you're doing anymore okay so please we just have to be very very careful if you have anything any problem personal or whatever Go to God in prayer. Yes, you can seek counsel, but not to the extent that the pastor will be telling you to come naked to his office or come and um, he's going to suck out some demon out of your breast or he's going to tell you to go and kneel down or he needs to make love to you. That's not even love making anyway. He needs to have sex with you for you to be able to have a child or for you to be able to get a husband. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, now let's come back to this same Houston too. There are a couple of pastors that I have heard, you know, and they have actually been going around pretending they are pastors when they really are not pastors. You know, so we have to be very, very careful. There's a particular one I know of. <laughs> I'm not going to mention the name. Don't think I'm going to do that, okay? Yes, he is married with kids, and on Friday, you see him drinking beer with his friends, and on Sunday, you see him on the altar preaching to people. It doesn't make any sense. It's not everybody that claims to be a pastor you allow to lay hands on your head because you don't know what you're getting. Most people are making money out of this pastoral ministry right now. So you have to be very, very, I mean, I think people should just have a discerning spirit. You need to know the ones that have God's anointing upon their head. Just like one that decided to borrow his car to some young girl telling her he's not married when he has a wife and children at home. All these things does not make any sense you know so the long and short of it is this not everybody that you think is praying for you is actually praying for you they are praying on you and that's pretty much what it is because when they see you're gullible they see you're stupid they see you don't know what you're doing they see you don't have a sense of direction they tell you jump you ask how high no you don't do that most of you worship your pastors I know that but please the pastor is not your all in all he's not the author and finisher of your faith god is the author and finisher of your faith the minute you understand and realize that god is the one that does stuff for people not the pastors then you'll be able to readjust yourself and put yourself back the way it's supposed to be anyway to those of you pastors doing all of this i have only one thing to tell you god is watching you in 3d because on the day of judgment all of you are going to account for this and i pray that god will give us koboko to whip all your nyashes at the end of the day because all these things you are doing you are not praying for these people you are praying on them and you are just serious predators anyway this is michelle Gungele, and i look forward to another exciting episode sometime soon <laughs> i hope you cut it off since long time ago right really did i do that really 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 oh i feel good yeah i feel good but you know now my name is chili is a genius ago and i'm right here watching coca box tv prescribed you better do mm -hmm. the guy's a hustle you know there's a non-try try try one i watch our people